Okay, uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, let's listen into what some of the leaders who were early uh, at those camp counting centers this morning, who were touring the counting centers or visiting the counting centers. Let's listen in to some of those leaders who said uh, to our talk to our reporters early in the morning today. Anything, I only want that everything is done according to God's will. That's all. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your other opponents for presenting? I, I have nothing to comment. Other opponents. I wish them all the best. Yeah? Whatever it is, all God's plan, so everything will work out that way. I expect that much on me. Polls have, have, have hinted at a, at a fractured mandate. Uh, uh, is, uh, are, are BJP and NPP getting back together? Uh, that depends on the national leaders to decide, not me. Okay, uh, the, the first gentleman who spoke to us was Nikki Kerry, the NDPP leader, and then, then thereafter it was, of course, Ail Heck, the top BJP leader. We'll go to, we will give the Astons, uh, that, so that our viewers know exactly who is who talking on the screen. The Astons are very important. Uh, we will go to Arindam Das. Okay, okay, we will we'll go join Arindam Das shortly. Uh, Tripura, these are the tr interesting trends in Tripura coming on expected lines. Of course, uh, the BJP leading in eight seats, the Tripura Motha in two seats, and the CPM Congress combined in three seats. Uh, we are getting trends from uh, 13 of the 60 seats, and those are the early trends as far as Tripura is concerned. And we are getting trends from five of the 60 seats in Nagaland, NDPP in one seat leading and the BJP is leading in four seats. Uh, that's a very interesting uh, trend in Nagaland. The NDPP is contesting, of course, 40 seats in Nagaland and the BJP is contesting 20 seats. And early trends indicate that the BJP is leading in four seats and the NDPP in one seat. As far as Meghalaya is concerned, uh, we are getting uh, trends, uh, we are getting trends in four seats, actually. Uh, we will correct that band. We'll correct that Meghalaya band because uh, one seat, uh, Meghalaya elections are taking place in, uh, took place, elections took place only for 59 seats following the unfortunate death of a candidate. Uh, and we are getting trends in four seats at the moment as far as Meghalaya is concerned. The NPP, which was the dominant ruling party in the outgoing government, NPP was, is leading in three seats and the Trinamool Congress is leading in one seat and the Congress is leading in one seat. So we're getting four uh, uh, trends as far as Meghalaya is concerned. We'll correct that band. It is showing one out of 59, but it's actually four out of 59. So we'll correct that band. So uh, let's let's quickly go to our newsroom where our news editor, Nabarun Goswami, is standing by. Yes, uh, Nabarun, what are the updates uh, you have at this point in time, Nabarun? Yes, Vazbir, uh, the trends, the exit polls seem to be bang on as of now. As we see in Tripura, the BJP is leading in over 11 seats. The BJP IPFT combined is leading, leading in over 11 seats. Of course, the CPIM uh, Congress combined is also leading at least three to four seats. Tipra, Tipra Motha also showing early promises, leading at least two seats. But the BJP as of now, clearly, clearly uh, leading the trend. However, these are only postal ballots. We have to wait. We have to wait for some time. Uh, we have to wait for at least an hour or so and at the same time if we go Meghalaya also early trend showing NPP leading even Congress is leading in one TMC is also leading in one uh, if we go to Nagaland of course it seems the NDPP BJP uh, seems to be the favorite so trends trends as of now it's it's too early in the day but trends as of now uh, hint that the exit polls may be heading towards the right direction was as and as we try to get uh, by the time in another 30 minutes 45 minutes we'll get who's leading the key candidates who's leading from which constituency we have a lot of number of key candidates, key seats, right from Tripura to Nagaland to Meghalaya, Chief Burma. Minister Manik Saha, Sudeep Roy Burman, Congress candidate. We have the Tipra Motha and we have uh, Condit Sangma, Mukul Sangma, Bernard Marak, Preston Tinsong, all the leaders, nephew Rio, TR Ziliang will get all the updates for our viewers. Uh, our our uh, team of reporters are all across. All right, the yes. big breaking story. NPP is leading in 11 seats. NPP is leading in 11 seats in Meghalaya. That is the big breaking story. Uh, we are getting trends from 26 seats out of 59 seats in Meghalaya. NPP is leading in 11, 6, TMC in 6, UDP 1, BJP 4, Congress 4. Uh, okay, that is the big uh, 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 number one. Uh, you know, are you surprised? This is again, you, as you said, Exit polls are seems to be bang on at this point in time. NPP is leading in 11 seats. 
uh, and 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 we have the Trinamul Congress coming next at six seats. So Trinamul and NPP, that means Trinamul Congress is giving a fight and BJP is interestingly leading in four seats and uh, the major political party UDP is leading in two seats. What do you think, Navarun? Well, Vasbir, yes, 11 seats, NPP will be happy with the start, but mind you, uh, most of the exit polls had written off the TMC in Meghalaya, but they are showing early promise. That is the takeaway from these early trends. Another big takeaway is BJP leading in four seats. That in itself is a big indication that the party may may uh, achieve well, a historic performance in right, the state this time. Right, right. Now, NPP is now leading in 13 seats in Meghalaya, NPP, and, uh, and the BJP is leading in total of, in as far as Meghalaya is concerned, the BJP is leading in five seats. Congress, significantly, is leading in four seats. Uh, we'll go to Lars Singh Ming, uh, a, a, a business leader and commentator, uh, joining me live from Shillong. Uh, Larsing, uh, welcome uh, to this live broadcast. Uh, Larsing, let's uh, leave Larsing on the on the on the screen. Uh, <coughs> Larsing, yeah, the NPP is leading in 13 seats. Trinamool Congress in five seats. The BJP is leading in five seats. Trinamool is of course leading in six seats. UDP in four, and Congress interestingly is leading in four seats. Of course, we all know that these are early trends. But what are your initial comments, Larsing? Well, we are, we are all waiting for these uh, results to come out. S There's S been so much of predictions going on in the last few days that uh, I think uh, everyone must be glued onto the TV sets to wonder what's going to happen. I think we're heading towards a nail-biting finish. I can almost equate this as a T20 match. So the early uh, uh, results are that NPP is leading. And uh, we don't know which part of the state these results are coming out from, but uh, really, really looking forward to seeing the results uh, as they come in in the next one, uh, one or two hours. Absolutely. That is very, very interesting, uh, Larsing. Uh, you know, NPP is now leading in 15 seats, uh, running away actually uh, quite ahead. Uh, TMC following with seven seats. Uh, UDP in five seats. UDP has uh, increased its uh, leads uh, at this point in time. Uh, you know, and uh, of course, we have the BJP leading in six seats now, and the Congress four and others one. It's a very interesting. Uh, there's a lot of figures on the board. Uh, they are on the scoreboard, uh, uh, Larsing. That is the scoreboard ticking fast. It's, as you said, like a T20 match. So as of now, as of now, it looks like this T20 match is heading only one way. Uh, very, very, uh, perhaps the way the exit polls have predicted. And uh, we need to see whether the naysayers of the exit polls, uh, uh, you know, they had any ground to, uh, you know, even dispute the results or not. But uh, this you is know, very, very interesting. Uh, you know, uh, you know, at the moment. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, you know, uh, even during the bitter war of words, Conrad Sangma's strategy, the NPP leader and the chief minister, Conrad Sangma's strategy was to say that uh, it was not to target the opponents. You know, he was very calm and, you know, in the, in the midst of bitterest of, in the biggest of provocations, he maintained his calm. He said that this is election time, uh, everybody can say anything they like, I don't want to comment. So that, that strategy, that was a good strategy. People may have liked that strategy, isn't it? Maybe so, yeah, because he was the one who perhaps uh, said the least about uh, other opponents. And rightly so, being the leaders, leading party in the last government, he knew very well that uh, one thing that he should not do is antagonize any of the coalition partners because should there be a fractured or a Absolutely. fragmented mandate, then they would still need to work together. And, so, uh, you know, so he, he probably maintains his diplomacy there. So it is, uh, it is if, if the Trinamul does not change the power equations, if Dr. Mukul Sangma fails to come up with uh, impressive numbers, uh, then then most likely it is going to be the same old combination, NPP, BJP and UDP. Uh, so st status quo in Meghalaya, uh, that is what the NEDA convener and master strategist of the BJP, Dr. Himanta Bishra Sharma has said uh, two days ago or maybe yesterday, uh, said that there will be status quo in the whole of the Northeast or in all the three states. Yes, uh, barring, uh, barring a scenario where uh, TMC gets 18 seats, which uh, seems rather, rather unlikely, uh, an overwhelming number of uh, overwhelming mandate, 
it is most likely that Meghalaya will head towards a coalition that will be under the banner of the NDA government. By the way, by the way, by the way, Larsen, by the way, Larsen, the NPP is now leading in 19 seats, the Trinamool in eight seats, UDP in six seats, BJP in six seats, and the Congress significantly is also leading in five seats. So NPP clear lead there, 19. We are getting results uh, thick and fast. The score rate very high as far as counting is concerned in Meghalaya. But interesting trend in Nagaland, viewers. Very. Let's go to Sarah Konyak. Uh, we, 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 okay, uh, I, before going to Sarah Konyak, I'll come to Sarah Konyak next. I am joined by the Meghalaya NPP president and Rajya Sabha MP, Dr. W.R. Karluki. Dr. Karluki, welcome to this live broadcast. A very good morning to you. Yeah. Hello. Yes, uh, Dr. Karluki, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yes. Okay. We will put the we'll put uh, yeah. Uh, you know, Mr. Karluki, uh, the NPP is now leading in 19 seats, followed by the Trinamool in eight seats, UDP six, BJP six, Congress five. Uh, is this unexpected lines? Uh, actually, we're expecting more, but let us see. How, how, how many, how many, how many... We'll increase the audio, we'll increase the audio. We'll, we, we need the uh, big audio of Karluki. Yes, uh, Dr. Karluki. Out of, out of, out of. We are getting leads in Meghalaya from... We are getting leads in Meghalaya. NPP is leading, your party is leading in 19 seats. And the Trinamool Congress is leading in eight seats, eight yeah. seats, and uh, you know, so these and the Trinamool, uh, Trinamool, NPP in nineteen, Trinamool in nine, UDP in six, BJP in seven, Congress in five, others one. Uh, how how many how many seats? How many total seats? Total seats we are getting out of forty nine. We are getting trends. We are getting trends in 49 seats. Okay, okay, okay. I think, I think that, yes. that, that, that calculation is slightly wrong. I'll ask the desk to correct. It's not 49. That, that's not telling up to 49. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, okay, but, I but, we, we, but NPP is leading in 19 seats. Okay, we, 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 we are trying actually, like what I told you, that we are targeting for an absolute, but let us see when the thing ends, by the end of the evening. But is this on expected lines? And NPP is leading in 19 seats, followed by the TMC, which is the closest, with 9 seats. So is this on expected lines? No, the thing is because I don't know the total, no? If I know the total out of... Like I, I out of, out four, of, out of fi 50... See, you contested 59 seats, and we are getting trends in 49 seats. 49 seats? Yes, we are getting... 49 seats. Out of 49 seats, BJP is leading in 19. Yeah, I think it seems that the exit poll may be right, but actually that is not expected line. But what to do after all is the verdict of the people. Right. So, so Dr. Karluki, the big question now is, uh, if, if the Trinamool gets the figures on your own, that is fine. But if you don't get, uh, I think it is going to be the old old combination, isn't it? Uh, NPP, BJP, UDP. Possibility is there. That is the close biggest possibility. No, I don't know because uh, let us see the result first. Because it, it is too early. Because in a, in a small uh, conferency, the trend used to change. No, so I think by by eleven twelve, everything will be clear. All right, we'll wait. F wait, wait, wait. We'll wait uh, to. We'll catch up with you once again, Dr. W. R. Kaluki, the state NPP president in Meghalaya. Thank you very much for joining me on this live broadcast uh, this morning. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll 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 go for a short commercial break, but uh, don't go away. We'll be right back in a moment.